Hi, welcome to Storytime with Jackie. I'm Jackie. I will be reading Welcome is a Wonderful Word by Gio Fujikawa. This is Jenny. Jenny loves to collect things like old clothes and hats and purses. Most anything that other people don't want anymore. She uses them to dress up and play pretend. Sometimes Jenny is a dancing girl. Jenny knows everybody in the neighborhood. And whenever she wants more things, she goes from house to house collecting. As soon as her shopping bag is full, Jenny takes her to her playhouse. There, she shows her treasures to her friends, Sam and Nicholas, and Sam's dog, Sags. They, they are Jenny's very best friends. All of them like to play together. They meet almost every day at Jenny's playhouse. Look what I got today, Jenny said. Isn't this pretty? Yes, Nicholas agreed. But did you get anything for me? And for me, Sam asked, of course, lots of things for everybody, Jenny said happily. Sometimes Nicholas is a doctor and Sam is a famous athlete. But no matter how hard he tries, Dad's is always sad. Once, Jenny gave a string of bees to a friendly squirrel, but the squirrel thought they were a little too big for him to wear. One day, Jenny said to her friends, You know the empty red house with the for sale sign in front? Well, it's not empty anymore. The sign's gone, and I saw a smoke coming from the chimney. I wonder who's moved in, Sam said. That's what I mean to find out, Jenny said. I'm going to pick up some things from Mrs. Brown, Jenny said. And on the way back, I'll stop by the Red House. I hope a little girl lives there. It would be nice to have a new friend. Then we'd have, we'd be... Two boys and two girls. Right after Jenny picked up the things from Mrs. Brown, she went to the Red House. She saw somebody looking out the window, and sure enough, it was a little girl. Hello, Jenny called. She went up the walk toward the house. All of a sudden, the little girl wasn't at the window anymore. Jenny walked to the front door and knocked when nobody opened it. So Jenny went to the window and looked in. She was just in time to see the, the little girl peeking around the curtain. Come out and play, Jenny called. The little girl shook her head and slipped away. From the window. Why not? Jenny said. But the little girl did not answer. Jenny went back to where Sam and Nicholas and Sags were waiting. She told them about the new girl. She won't come out, Jenny said. She won't be our new friend. I wonder why, Nicholas said. 
Sam thought for a moment. Maybe she doesn't feel welcome here. Then what should we do? How can we show her that we really want to be friends? Jenny asked. I know, Sam cried. I'll get my wagon and we'll fill it with things she might like. Jenny jumped up in the air. That's it, she shouted. We'll make her feel welcome. We'll take her a welcome wagon. So Sam got his wagon and they piled it full of things. Sam put in a baseball net and a football. Nicholas brought one of his favorite fishing rods and a little tin pail for worms. And Jenny packed up a scarf and beads and best of all, a big hat with flowers. And then they all hurried to the red house. When they got there, they called to the little girl. Please come out. And Jenny shouted, come out and see what we have for you. We want to welcome you, Nicholas added. In a few minutes, the door opened and a shy little girl stood there. What's your name? Jenny asked. May Sue was the answer. Why don't you come out? Jenny asked. Because everybody gives you things, and I don't know what to give you, Nancy said. But you don't have to give me anything, Jenny said. We want you to be our friend. So Nancy came out, and Jenny put the big hat with the big flowers on Nancy's head. And Sam gave her the baseball mitt and the football. And Nicholas handed her the fishing pole. I'll show you how to play baseball, Sam said. And I'll show you how to catch a fish. Nicholas said, Oh, thank you, May Sue exclaimed happily with a big smile on her face. Thank you so much. Now we're all friends, Jenny said. Let's have a cookie and lemonade party, May Sue said. And that afternoon, Sam and Jenny and Nicholas and May Sue and Sags did have a party. When it was time for her friends to go, May Sue said, I was sad when I moved away from my old home, but now I'm ha now I'm ha now I'm happy. You have made me feel welcome. Welcome, Jenny said. It's a wonderful word, isn't it? Yes, Nicholas agreed. The best, Sam said, and Sags opened his mouth and let out a loud and happy bark. The end. Thank you for joining me.